G'day, legends! Oh, man, I'm excited to be here. You guys pumped or what? Yes! Man, I'm so excited comedy's back, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, the last time I was doing stand-up comedy before the lockdown, on one of my last gigs, I was savagely heckled, ladies and gentlemen. Can you imagine that? Someone looked at me and goes, fuck, I've got a few opinions here. Um, <laughs> it happens all the time, but mainly from car windows. Anyway, um, right, I was, uh, I was at Adelaide Fringe. If you haven't been to Adelaide Fringe before, it's like a big circus. There's rides, there's attractions, there's carny folks, right? Before I walk to the stage, right, before I grab the mic, this guy at the back just yells, hey, mate, if you're here, who's looking after the Ferris wheel? <laughs> I was like, that's pretty fucking good, you know? <laughs> like, you know when you get done over, you're like, well played, sir. Um, <laughs> that's good. But uh, during lockdown, I uh, had to get a new job. I was working, uh, working construction. Uh, oh, really, Brad? You look like a scientist. <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, but I, I was working construction, right? And I was working with a young bloke called Henry, right? He's 19 years old. I was working with this guy called Henry. And I don't know what it is when you work with someone significantly younger than you, for some reason, you still want them to think you're cool, you know? <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I was going to Henry. I was like, hey, Henry! Ha! You, you, you got any cool Tarzos? <laughs> I was like, man, what about, what about a tech deck? Let's do some kick flips, man. <laughs> He's like, who is this old fuck speaking to me? Um, <laughs> Robert, I tried to relate to him one day. I said, Henry, Henry, you know, have you got, have you got a partner? He goes, yeah, I've got a partner. I've settled down, 19 years old. <laughs> I've settled down, right? Then he said the weirdest thing straight after that. He goes, I've settled down. I've had my peace. I've had my peace. Like, who the fuck are you? Are you poorly from the fucking Sopranos? You know what I mean? <laughs> the sun visor, an espresso, you've had your piece. What Henry is trying to say is a 19-year-old boy, not a man, as a 19-year-old boy, Henry has had everything available to him <laughs> on the sexual hemisphere. As a 19-year-old boy, he can now settle down because he's had his piece. <laughs> I'm 34. I reckon I've had a fucking sixteenth of the pie, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a lie. It's a 32nd or a weird number like that, you know? I got angry at Henry, I got deep. I started questioning him. I said, Henry! Henry! Have you ever slept with a middle-aged woman, Henry? <laughs> no, then son, you have never fucked before, you know? <laughs> started getting specific. I said, Henry! Henry! Have you ever been on a Katiki tour, Henry? <laughs> Have you ever been on a Katiki tour in the south of France? Yes, you know it's a wine region, but that is not why you were there, Henry. <laughs> you're there with your best friend, Ian, of 22 years. You're at a pool party. You're at a pool party. Pitbulls playing in the background. Grab somebody, sexy, tell them, hey. Right? <laughs> Next thing you know, two French backpackers, they jump into the pool. One of them jumps on your shoulders. You're in an arm wrestling fight. You're in an arm wrestling fight with another couple. Next thing you know, she spins herself around. You start exploring her and all her feminine glory with your tongue, Henry. <laughs> Have you ever been in that situation before, Henry? <laughs> no, Henry! <laughs> Have you ever rocked up to your best friend's house, Ian, of 22 years? You knock on the door. Ian is not available, but his mum answers. <laughs> His mum answers, she's standing there in a shower robe. Next thing you know, a strong gust of wind knocks that robe off her body. You see her in all her majestical glory. Next thing you know, she throws you into the shower. You are hanging onto the shower curtain and she is sucking you off like you've never believed, Emery. <laughs> Have you ever been in that situation before, Emery? Have you? No. Well, me neither, but, um... <laughs> God, that sounds good, you know? The mind wanders. <laughs>